Well, uh, here we are on a Sunday afternoon, evening, I really, this is 6.04 uh, Pacific time on out here on the West Coast. Hair's a little messed up. We've got the Santa Ana winds today, blowing hard, a lot of pollens in the air and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you might want to watch your, your pooches when that happens, that don't uh, ingest too much of that. You know, you don't know what can happen with scratching and itching and stuff. I know that's happened with our buster. But anyway, good evening on behalf of Wolf Driver, uh, Wolf Driver Productions, and uh, you're on the Wolf Driver Facebook page right now, streaming live, coming at you live, as the Wolf Driver would say, with the All Dog Network. Hey, good evening, Leslie. Hey. Um, it's all good. We're having a Sunday evening here. It's been very hot today. It's a very warm day here in Southern California in the high 90s. High fire danger. Hopefully there's nothing sparked today. Those poor guys have got to fight those things and uh, all that kind of thing. Um, you know, I, I wish the election had dogs running as candidates. Andrea, Andrea's there, Becky's there, hello, hello. Um, you know, voting for president, I'd vote for my dog, of course, so would everybody else. Vote for your own dog. And they're not asking for donations, our dogs. Every five minutes asking for money. I'm going to talk about a few things tonight, a little different. We're not going to do a breed tonight because we're going to integrate into talking about cross hybrid breeds or cross dog breeds. And then we're going to look at the uh, top 25 of these uh, mixed breed dogs that are most popular. There's a lot of areas uh, to cover in popularity of different things about dogs, you know, most popular, the healthiest, the most expensive to take care of medically wise. So we're going to start looking at these avenues um, because there's a lot of people looking for a new pet or an, another dog or whatever the case. And, you know, we're integrating cats in. It's not a cat night necessarily, but we're going to be talking about our cats too, cats and dogs. Uh, tonight, uh, the producers have made a decision to look at something a little different, which would be uh, maybe the top 25 mixed breed dogs. And it uh, probably surprises some of them that are the most popular. Uh, mixed breeds, for whatever the reason they are. You know, they take polls and statistics like anything else. And jump and jam in there, come out onto the groove. And uh, of course, we like our meditation, uh, relaxing music in the background. So we have our little chat room here tonight. Um, Wolf Diddy here, Bucky, my name. And. Uh, you know, I've lived in a lot of different places, moving around, traveling in with the band, and, uh, and even before that, the folks moved around from, uh, you know, born in St. Louis, moved to Nashville, grew up there, finished high school, went to college at the University of Alabama, moved out to California in between there, and then back to Florida, and kind of all over the place. And uh, so when I say I'm from here, I'm from there, it's because that's where I'm from. But there's a lot of people come and they say, oh, Atlanta. So I lived out in Buckhead for a while, you know. I mean, when we're playing music, we're playing gigs in different states and we'd be there playing different gigs for, you know, months at a time sometimes. So you got to know a lot of people in a lot of different places, which is great. And all their dogs. Got to meet all their dogs and cats, too. Um, always been a cat and dog lover. Um, and... Uh, so mixed breeds are probably, you know, more prevalent than purebreds. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know the count on that. But uh, we're going to look at that tonight. Um, there's a... Oh, <coughs> excuse me. There's a video that the Wolf Driver did, produced, with the three young ladies singing. That just, somebody asked the other night, who are those guys? You know, because they're, they're really, really outstanding vocalists and they work together really well in our Wolf Play production team and they've sung you know the majority of all the stuff that we've done them at Wolf Driver Tunes uh, they're all on wolftunes.com but there's a video we did uh, several videos on some of the tunes um, and you know we could uh, put those together at the time and it's kind of fun things and uh, 
This is all about the dogs. I played this a couple of times over the months, and I'm going to play it again this evening because it's just a fun song and a fun video of the girls singing about dogs, 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 and it's basically about all breeds, you know. But, you know, the wolf driver has his huskies. The wolf pack, which is so cool. And we're reaching out now in the fall season here. Uh, the last quarter of the year here, we, we're trying to, the production company's trying to build a big audience for, for what we're doing here, streaming live with a Wolf Driver, alldognetwork.com. Basically because um, what happens, Dixie, good evening, good to see you, enjoy your show, thank you so much. Yeah, if you share this, the more people you share it with, the more people that at least look at it for a few minutes, you know, once in a while, if not every night, would be very helpful because the numbers are what this Facebook thing's all about and how you get rated and how they let you continue to spend more time streaming live um, with the competition and, and so forth and all that kind of thing. Hi, Paula. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us this evening. So that's the story. So we do ask for that. Just I mean, we're not asking for money. We're not asking for donations like the politicians are, like they need it. Hello. I mean, if I had the kind of money either one of them had, I wouldn't be asking for money. Okay. They'll never spend it in 20 lifetimes. Rebecca Sue, hello. Good to see you. So the dog, uh, the dog, dogmocrats and the dog publicans. Uh, they're oblivious to the uh, parties. Hi, Mimi. Good to see you. Thanks for joining this evening. We're on a little early. Was, try to keep it uh, earlier if we can, you know, by request. And it's all good. Um, so we're going to look at the video. Some uh, Wolf Driver music. Hello. And we're going to look at the uh, the stuff about I was saying about uh, the talk about in the chat box here. About... Uh, we're going to look at the countdown of 25 of the most favorite, according to the polls that are out there, um, mixed breeds. Let's see what they are. So we'll I'm going to spend a few minutes doing that. And let's see where that is here. I just had that. Uh, if you missed last night, uh, We had a unusual breed called a Pressa, Pressea, Pressea, Pressa, Canario, which is like a, a Mastiff boxer, strong, just a massive, don't get in my way. And my Busters have Mastiff King Corsa. There's different breeds that are Mastiffs, English, Italian, they're just big, look like boxer pit bull dogs that are just muscle bound <laughs> sweet as can be but will guard your uh, property and your territory for you no doubt and have a nice bark a um, couple of things I was going to cover you know we're talking about how you integrate cats and your dogs together if you haven't had one I fell asleep missed everything it should be posted if not it'll be posted by tomorrow hello Jessica um, she the, our IT uh, young lady who does the IT posting and all the work on uh, alldognetwork.com usually takes Sundays off. You gotta have a day off, except me. Um, unless it's a, unless I got a gig or something or an anniversary, I, I don't take off. I'm doing this. The Wolf Driver and I have decided that the more we're there and present, the better off we are and the better off our dogs are because they're naughty. Hi, good to see you join us so we spread the word share the joy share the, it's just all about the dogs and music and I'm sure a lot of people who come on here the first time wonder boy this is a weird dude here doing the stuff with his, his shirt on the wolf driver what is that about so to save conversation for everyone else in time to reiterate what we're about if you go to alldognetwork.com Victoria Kelly and I say hi hi thank you Victoria alldognetwork.com alldognetwork, one word, dot com will explain all the stuff that everybody's doing in the Wolf Drivers Adventures and so forth. Hi, Victoria. All right. So we'll get started here. So we're talking about integrating the cats and dogs. There's some more tips here of how to how to get those uh, babies together in your house. 
um, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute. I just want to let's let's start with what I attempted to do, and that was uh, uh, talk about uh, the uh, the uh, most popular mixed breeds, and we're talking about the first number twenty five. We said we uh, we started number twenty five and go down to number one. And well, I won't spend too much detail on them. We'll just tell you what they are. Um, and, you know, there's not a ton of reviews on these polls, but there's enough reviews of people that have these. So, there are about overall scores on the reviews and all this stuff about being, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Um, and some interesting things. Now, just because they're mixed breeds, apparently... According to this, uh, statistics here, and this is from Pet Breeds, it's quite a, um, it's part of the dog breed website, which is huge. I mean, it's they've got all kinds of everything covered on here, pretty much, if you, uh, if you like to read a lot. Um, I like to just talk about stuff in my own way, uh, that I do uh, research on some of these articles. But anyway, this one here, number 25, is called a Valley Valley Bulldog. A Valley Bulldog. And what we'll do is, I'm going to switch the camera here. Off a of selfie, and there's your Valley Bulldog, dude. He's very beautiful. Now, uh, he has the genes of a boxer and a bulldog. Valley Bulldogs need regular exercise and a boast and boast a cheerful, loving disposition. Valley Bulldog, number 25. Believe it or not, average puppy price. Becky says, oh, the puppy price. Now, it's a mixed breed. It's not a purebred. You know, usually when you go to buy purebreds, they're very expensive. Well, this guy's average price is a pup puppy with a 12-year lifespan expectancy is $1,000. A thousand forty-three dollars average puppy price. Now here, number twenty-four, we have an Aussie Doodle. Okay. Now the Aussie Doodle uh, average puppy price about the same. Uh, they are large herding dogs born to Australian shepherds and poodles that rarely bark. The life expectancy for Aussie Doodles is eleven to twelve years. is considered somewhat shorter than the average for large breeds. Aussie Doodle, number 24. We're talking about the most popular mixed breeds going down to the top 25. Then we have a, uh, a nice little uh, Maltese there. Maltese and a Lapa Os o uh, Lassa Opso mix. Okay. And they're called Ready? Kaya Leo. K-Y-I Leo. Okay, average expectancy 14 years for this guy. Half mix, mix. I don't know the percentage. Maltese and Lhasa Apso. And he's average price puppy about $765 with a 14 year lifespan. Number 23. Moving on to number 22. We have the, uh, this is an interesting name. U Tunnigan. U-T-O-N-A-G-A-N, Utunagan, is a mix of Alaskan Malamute and a Siberian Husky and a German Shepherd. Mix of Alaskan Malamute, Siber Siberian Husky, like the Wolf Drivers, Wolf Pack guys, and a German Shepherd, like half a Buster. He loves to stay active and excels in a variety of activities. Now, his average price, again, is a little over $1,000 for a puppy and 13 years expectancy. Number 22, the Tunnigan. Interesting. Shut this light off. Then number 21 is a Bernie Doodle. Bernie Doodle, a mix of a Bernese Mountain Dog, which we've done, and a Poodle. Playful and loving dog that requires significant exercise. Bernie Doodle. Suspected life is, uh, expectancy is about 11 years. Roy, glad to see you as well tonight. Thank you. I'm not keeping my eye on the comments uh, as much. I, I'll pick up on them. Uh, 
his average price again is a little, a little over a thousand bucks. Number 21, Bernie Doodle. Okay. A Poochon. Poochon. P O O C H O N. Now, mix a, a poodle and a bichon. Bichon. Fries. That requires regular visits to the groomer, but seldom sheds. 14 years. Average price about 900 bucks. Poochon. Mix of a poodle and a bichon. We've done the bichon. My Huskies are Alaska Moody and Siberian Hesse. We pay 200 each. You got a good deal, obviously. <laughs> of course, who knows where the demographic is, uh, Mimi, on these. Uh, you know, it's all speculative. Very cute, that one there. He's number 20, the Pushan. Then we have a Yorkie Poo. We did a, uh, a show on a Yorkie Poo. I remember doing that. Cross between a Yorkshire Terrier and a miniature toy or a toy poodle. It's intelligent, adaptable breed, well suited for people with allergies. Oh, that's nice to know. My wife would want one of those right now because all she does is have allergies and we think it's part, partly Buster, but we have everything going on in there. You know, the machine, the, what do you call it, the filter and all that. Okay, average puppy price for these little uh, Yorkie Poos, $7.65, 13 years expectancy. Number comes in at number 19. And number 18, we got a, a Catahoula Bulldog. Catahoula. Catahoula Bulldogs. They're mixes of Louisiana Catahoula Dog and American Bulldog. Very large protective dogs with sincere loyalty to their family. Average lifespan 14 years and they're a little over a thousand bucks. Never heard of that. Catahoula Bulldog. Cute, Eddie says. Eddie Garcia's with us tonight. Haven't seen you in a while. There's a cutie. This is a Puggle. Ha! Puggle. Mix of a beagle and a poodle. A puggle. I like that. Friendly, intelligent pups with an appetite for exercise. How cute. It's this little guy. 13 years expectancy. Average puppy price, about 900 bucks. Number nine, number 17. A puggle. What kind of dog do you have? I have a puggle. Cute. Number 16 is a schnoodle. A schnoodle. Okay, mix a miniature schnauzer and a poodle are considered hypoallergenic. I feel like we have a Yorkie Poo and got her free. There you go. You're getting all the deals, Mimi. That's a good deal. Cute. This one here, the uh, Schnoodle, 14 years, a little over a thousand bucks you pay for one of these average puppy price. Cute. Yeah, he's just cute. And moving down to number 15, we got a Malt, uh, Malta Malti Poo. Multi-poo is a mix of the Maltese and a poodle as well. Settles well into any home setting. However, the multi-poos are prone to develop separation anxiety. So uh, you got to keep them with you or take them along or whatever the case. 13 years expectancy average and uh, 765 bucks average puppy on these guys. Talk about mixed breeds, most popular mixed breeds. We're down to number 14, the Eurasia. Eurasia. E E U R A S I E R Eurasia. Look at this guy here. He's he's between a Chow Chow and a Kisan and a Samoyan breed. We did the Kisan, we did Chow Chows, we did Samoyan. I don't think we did Samoyan breeds. I think we might have uh, won. Anyway, mix for a breed is a good choice for fitness enthusiasts, and they tend to be very active. Eurasia. I love the way they get these names. Twelve years expectancy, average puppy. Like supposed to be lucky in that other comment. <laughs> That's cute. A thousand bucks for puppies. Number thirteen is the Labradoodle. Now we've talked about the Labradoodle. They look more like a doodle than a lab, that's for sure. Created in Australia. This is in the late 18, 1980s is uh, all uh, by a retired vet. The Labradoodles are a good choice for those with allergies and are a mix of the Labrador Retriever and a Poodle. Well, this one here definitely got more poodle than lab, obviously. Uh, average puppy, again, a little over a thousand bucks. I don't know where they get that number, but uh, 13 year expectancy. Number 13, Labradoodle. Number 12, getting down to the Golden Doodle. Uh, what? What's not to love about the Golden Doodle? Nothing. Sweet bread. It's a very sweet breed, born to a golden retriever and a poodle. It's quick to obey its owner and can handle most any types of hot and cold weather. That's good to know. Average price, a little less, 900 bucks. 
average expectancy 13 years. And moving on, like we said, number 11, the cockapoo. I thought cockapoos were uh, parrots. No, I guess the dog. Generally found as family pets, cockapoos are loving, outgoing dogs, a trace their origins of the poodle, and either an American English cocker spaniel. An American or an English cocker mixed with a poodle. Right yonder, you see him flying through the air with his jacket. He's going to live about 16 years flying like that, I can imagine. 16 years, and it's about a thousand bucks for that average puppy. Susanna's joined us. Mimi says, I'll oh, kid. Yeah, he's, he's flying. Maybe that's why he's going to be live, live three years longer than the other ones because he's flying. He's not walking. <laughs> Mixed popular mixed breeds we're looking at. Most popular mixed breeds. We're down to number 10, down to the top 10 now. And we're looking right here at, that's a close up. This is a Cavachon. 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 C A V A C H O N. Cavachon. He's a mix of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, which we did show just last uh, week or so ago, and the Bichon Frise, which we did again. Uh, it's amazing. The crossbreeds here are, are the. the of the uh, many of the uh, purebreds we've just done in the last few weeks, they require very little grooming, grooming and shed minimally, and their lifespan again is high, 14 years. And average price of this guy, uh, 765 average. It's interesting. Cabochon. I'll have a cabochon, please. Cute. Moving on, number nine, the chippin. Oh my goodness. You could lose him in the house. The Chippens is a cross between Miniature Pincher and the Chihuahua, Chihuahua, Chica the Chihuahua. They're difficult to train, but uh, they can they can can participate, haha, ha, can can, in competitive obedience with the right amount of patience and per perseverance. I don't know if I I would have personal patience with this uh, little Chippen. I might let send him over to the Chippendales, let them train him. But anyway, his lifespan is about 11 years. Average price for him as a puppy, about $7.65. So you can be shelling out some, some coin for these uh, mixed, popular mixed breeds. I mean, we looked at the purebred breeds, and they weren't much more than, well, they were a little bit more, but they weren't a ton much. Yeah, you'd find them with those ears all right. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, there's an ear sticking out of the door. There he is. You're right about that. Number eight, moving on to the Mastador. Now he's a giant dog born to a Mastiff, which is kind of like Buster's half Italian Mastiff. And those uh, Canarios from last night were from the English Mastiff side and a Labrador. So you got the uh, Mastiff and a Lab together. They're very alert and protective and Mastadors are commonly employed for search and rescue and hunting. Mastador. Hello from North Borneo, Winston. Wow. That's a long way away, huh? I wonder what time it is over there. It's the evening here. It's probably the same, huh? Delay Trice. So cute. Mastador. He comes in at number eight. His life expectancy is somewhere about 11 years. His price just went up to 1,043 average for a pup, a pup like this for your Mastador. Moving on to Lucky Seven, we got this, uh, the she, uh, Shipu. Shipus. Shipus. Many Shipus have the head shape of a, sh a, sh a Shih Tzu and a coat of a poodle. Sherry Lands joins. I see some new folks out there. That's wonderful. Thanks for joining us and spread the word about this show, please. We're coming at you live on the Facebook on Wolf Driver. AllDogNetwork.com. The sheep poos are playful and fun around children, making them a great dog for families, which looks the, looks like the case. Long life, actually 14, average. That's average now. And a price is about 7.65. Again, I don't know where you get the 65, but uh, they must do some serious math calculations on the average prices going on here. Most popular mixed breeds we're talking about here, and we're counting down to 25, and we're down to number six now, a Labra Bull. Okay, Labra Bull breed combines many talents of both the Labrador Retriever and 
the guess what American pit bull terrier and are known for their many talents and strengths he looks very very cool lifespan a little less 12 years and about a thousand bucks for these puppies a labrable labrable number five comes in with the labradane wow look at him this giant crossbreed is between a lab and Labrador Retriever and a Great Dane makes a great watchdog. Kind of looks that way, huh? Looks like he's not taking his eyes off whatever he's looking at. But his life expectancy in Great Danes is less in general, so the mix here is nine years with a price of a little over a thousand for a puppy. The Labradane. And getting down to the bottom here, number four is a Jack Chi. Wow. He jacked this picture, too. There it is. Interesting. Uh, he's a Jack Kiss, Chiss, C H I S. Never heard of that. Jack Chiss will keep you on your feet because you're active and playful dogs. Born to Chihuahuas and a Jack Russell. Chihuahua and a Jack Russell. Uh, these dogs need extra patience to be trained. Huh. Interesting. It's got a little bit more size of a jack in there than he does a chihuahua, I think. But uh, that's just that one. And he's got a long lifespan of 16 years with an average puppy price of uh, 765. Jumping into the number top three, a pompchi. Really? A pompchi there. Uh, he's a mix of uh, chihuahua and pomeranian. Adorable pups with an average life between 12 and 18 years, so average 15, price a little over six, uh, seven and a half for a puppy like that. He looks a little chub, maybe eating too much there. Pomeranian and a Chihuahua mix. Pomchi, Pom cheese. Number two, runner up, Cavapoo. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, we did his show the other night, and a poodle, easy to train, loving, social, and is known great around kids. Look at that face. I say, I, I will love you. I'm here to love you. I just love you. That face says to me. Adorable. 14 year expectancy average and the price again, a little about $750 for a puppy. I think somebody's got the market figured out what they're going to charge for puppies. I guess it's whatever you're going to pay, whatever they want. Popular mixed breed down to number one. Wow. A Chewini. Get out of here. Chewini. Crossbred between a Chihuahua and a Dachshund. Expect this breed to be stubborn and difficult to train. Well, number one, you're off my list because I don't have the patience. But how cute. Chewini, Chihuahua and a Dachshund, Chewinis. <laughs> oh my goodness. Average life, 14 years, and price about seven sixty-five. Well, there we have it. Uh, Jack Russell and a Keishan mix Roy has. Too cute, I want one. So this is what happens when we start examining all these breeds and crossbreeds and mixed breeds. And we just, uh, we see dogs... Excuse me, that we haven't seen before, perhaps, you know, and we may have one that's similar. I have to keep the ice water going today. It's very hot here. It's been a chill day today, Sunday. Sundays are good to just take it easy if you can forget all your woes, if you have any, and uh, just chill out and rest and relax. And, you know, it seems like we all have something to do every second which is good in a way, but sometimes it's good not to think about, oh gee, I gotta go do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, oh, I don't have that, I gotta get this, let me go get this. I like a breed that's easily trained yet protective. Well, Buster is, uh, he's, he trained very easily actually. We still train him, work on him. Hello, Deborah Moore. Hi, thanks for joining us. And he's like half Shepherd and half Cane Corso. He's a big dog. I mean, he's medium size, 70, 70 pounds, 72. Love his show. It's nice seeing different dogs, Margie says. Thank you. 
Yeah, it gives you an idea, it gives you perspective, um, especially if you're looking for one, you know. And again, um, I think we're going to do, just because of that question, you'd li- or that you'd like to have an easily trained and protected, we're going to take a show, maybe tomorrow, and look at those facts and figures. I will send you some cool air. <laughs> it's cool here, North Carolina. Wow. Cool, send it on down with that stew. That's big to me, yeah. He's still so cute, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for you, particularly, and for anybody else, we're gonna narrow it down to easily trained and protective, uh, medium uh, or smaller to smaller size pooches. And look at a list of those and start talking about what breeds those are or which mixed breeds they may be. And we'll do that. I've got my notes here and it's in my head. Because, you know, what we've been doing is looking at the breeds specifically, looking at cats, we've mixed, trying to mix it up to keep it interesting so it doesn't get old and boring, you know, the same old thing. Everybody's doing the same thing every night, you know, it's getting old. And I'll pull the guitar out and we'll play music one night, you know. I just try to mix it up with everything I can possibly think of. I was sitting today thinking, so what can we do in the next, uh, you know, month? And, and mix it up with some different stuff that's interesting that's still pertinent. Debbie Singleton's there. Hello, good to see you. And so these are the kind of things that are important to think about. You know, um, what are the different things we haven't looked at to, to keep us all learning more stuff and informed about stuff and maybe answer some questions we have as we go about this, that, and the other thing. I mean, that's all it is. It's like a chat room that's having fun and um, keeping it interesting. Uh, with different subject matter and so forth. And along the way, we always discover something. You know, we, we say, oh, gee, I didn't, you know, we talked about that particular, oh, okay, wow, this is how much they are, wow, this is how long they expect to live, wow. So all these things, so I'm going to look into that, and we'll hopefully do something like that, talk about uh, a particular breed that's going to be easily trainable, not hard, and, you know, get down to the nitty gritty of these kind of things and talk about them again so we can all be informed and uh, and know what we're doing and what we're looking for. Then when we go to the rescue shelter, we can ask. Uh, we can search on the internet, uh, you know, people that have animals, you know, for, uh, for adoption. I mean, I'm not a Craigslist person so much for certain things, but I don't think that would hurt, you never know. People don't like to spend many advertising, so it's a free way to go. You never know what you'll find. You know? Oh, so and so. My neighbor just had a litter of um, so and so dogs. Oh, they happen to be the easily trained dog, and they happen to be very protective dogs and little puppies, and they're free. <laughs> Let me go look at them and see if I find one that I connect with. And next thing you know, you're rescuing a little puppy, and you have to pay for it a year seven hundred thousand dollars that you would if you went to a you know, pet store or wherever they're selling them, breeders, cross breeders. You know, anybody that'll make a buck, they're going to try to do it. So it's all supply and demand, you know. That also runs everything. And then there's people that are pet lovers that they have a litter of puppies and they want to give them away to the right home. They don't try, they're trying to make money off of them necessarily, you know. And they're even paying for all the support it takes to keep them until they give them away the food and the shelter and the time they have to spend with them and trying to train them while they're waiting to be find a home so there we are that's uh that's our chat tonight okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here to um look at and yes yes rescue if possible yeah now that's a good way no people free a lot of loving homes yeah i mean i got his look you got his look. I mean, the only thing you're going to pay for, I mean, we got Buster from a woman who was doing this out of her home, and his litter do do something which our hair. Do something which our hair. With my hair? No kidding. How about a haircut? (laughs) That's funny, Kathy. That's good. Anyway, I was going to say, 
uh, she had, Buster was out of a litter of 12. He just happens to be the last one that was there when my wife showed up to get him, found him on the internet. And, um, you know, you pay the fees, whatever the fees are they charge, you know, there's the licensing fees and, and sending home with some food or whatever, shots. Hey, it's no different than going to the shelter. You got to pay some kind of legal fees. And that's cool. We have uh, eight rescues and love them all. Demita. Jackson. Yeah. You love them all. Of course. You look fine. <laughs> Thank you. Save me from the haircut. Although tomorrow is haircut day. They were closed. I would have gone today, but they were closed. It wasn't because I was watching football. Um, okay. So, let me, I want to play this, um, you know, the um, love, love, love the dogs video again because it's it's an up song it's fun and the girls are just singing very well on this one uh, let me find this for us and it's called wolf driver and the reason i'm playing it my mom and stepdad have gotten a toy poodle free he was an abused real bad in the vet hospital all they wanted was a good home there you go in the vet hospital you know, there's people that are going to take those those pups, okay? They're going to take them out of the compassion that we have. It's so sad. Anybody that can abuse an animal, I, I don't get it. I, I just, I, you know, when I think about that, I, I just get sick to my stomach to where, you know, you just, we, you know, we all think the same way and as far as retaliation. For people who do that, I mean, that's defenseless, you know. So, mentally ill people, that's all I say. They're not right. You can't be right and do that. I don't either. They need to be abused. How sad. What? We have mentally ill individuals that have animals in their possession that they hurt. Uh, worse than you can imagine. Uh, it's a sick power that a mentally ill mind has. It's like any other other power that these people go around shooting people that are mentally ill for no reason. And it's the way of the world. It's sad. Our Lilu was abandoned in front of our house. I loved her dearly. Yeah, people do that too. They just leave, leave the animals off somewhere. I told you a story about Oliver and Tiny, the two we found in the Los Gatos Mountains, shivering. Everybody had enough nerve to leave a bowl of food or some, a bowl of water and not take the dogs. Yeah, it's just try to make them feel good. Everything they pass by them and they're sitting there just dying. And so we finally did it. You know, we, just, we took them, took, took care of them, kept them long time, took him to the vet, took care of him, couldn't, couldn't stand it anymore, couldn't believe it, I wish I knew the people were just leaving the food, I didn't know who they were, I confronted them and said, what's the matter with you, I mean, good for you, what's the purpose though, of what you're doing, so now we're going to take a look here, and this is a graphic, I want to show you what the, what the wolf driver does, we're going to here the music, videos. What he does, uh, he makes graphics. Now, I'm going to show you something. On these tracks that we've been listening to, this is the Guitar Meditation um, logo, which is like an album cover for a whole list of songs here that I've recorded. You can see them. These are on SoundCloud. And there's a beautiful graphic. The Wolf Driver all does this himself. Okay, and Here's one of the blends of meditative blends of nature with the sound of the rain and the forest and the ocean. You can hear that graphic. And then there's just, it goes on and on and more stuff. There's a beautiful one by one of the huskies in the lake. Meditative music here. Wolf paws. It's pretty clever. Like pause and just relax. So if you go to wolftunes.com and to soundcloud.com, hello from South Central Texas, Mary. 
good to see you. If you go to soundcloud.com and punch in Wolf Driver search, you'll find where this pages that we're looking at here. And it has all these different kinds of sets of music here. Comments and this whole matrix here of things you can go look at. About dog training, boarding, biking, dog music, inspirational stuff, mushing individual dogs, Mark Scott playing the guitar like I do, power, physical, rap, retrievers, I mean, wolf tributes, that's all the parodies we've done, the wolf acts about the guitar, I mean, it just goes on and on. Now, this is at soundcloud.com, looks like this, meditation tracks. And this is at wolftunes.com. Wolftunes.com is what we're looking at here. And these are all being played on SoundCloud as well. But you find all this at wolftunes, not soundcloud.com first. That's if you just want to see, uh, listen to them as well. But it's all on now, all put on wolftunes.com. Wolf right there. Thank you for listening and looking. But right now we're going to go ahead and uh, go over to uh, this here. I'm going to go ahead and can this here. And we're going to go over here and check. Uh, Wolf Driver loves all dogs, not just the Huskies. Though he did this graphic too. Okay. Some of you already seen this probably. This is Jackie, Rebecca, and Romani.
um, Deborah, let me take a look at what you may have said here. Hang on a second. Bear with me, please. Anyway, that was uh, the the dog singing. Actually, you make me feel the way you make me feel. Um, Deborah's post. Did you see my post? Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm getting. Oh, I'm here. Getting late here. That slipped up. Yes, I see it now. Thank you. I'm glad you're making the efforts to to be with me on this on this show because it means a lot to us. It means everything to us because we don't have an audience. We wouldn't be doing this. We couldn't do it properly at least we need you guys and your puppies so anyway that was the way you make me feel a dog, wolf driver loves all dogs and it's the dogs singing that they love the way he makes them feel because he takes them out on all these journeys and adventures and keeps them just keeps their motor running and heading out on that highway keep your motor running so we've had a good time tonight um it's sunday evening and, um, you know, one of the main things that we, we try to do is get a little education in for all of us, including myself, you know, each time we do this, um, in order to, to, uh, you know, enhance our brain cells, you know, and keep us young at heart, learning about everything, um, we did talk about dogs and cats living together, you know, and um, you don't want the situation where, you know, we talked about, the, we're just kind of moving into cats real quick. We'd like to say a little bit about the cats and dogs, but um, there's millions of dog lovers that share their hearts and homes with the felines in the family. And uh, with the Nari, with Nari a scratch between the species, although some things can happen. And, you know, you heard the phrase fighting like cats and dogs, well, as well as knowing the saying is often, it's also an often inaccurate one because uh, most of them don't. Uh, on the other paw, <laughs> on the other paw, on the other hand, uh, stories of dogs killing cats are fact, not fiction, and many unfortunate rowdy rovers have suffered ulcerated corneas because of the scratch, uh, you know, and scratch on the leathers and nose and infected puncture wounds from the tough triggers that decided to fight, you know, then flight. Instead of run away, they fight. But uh, so we want to, you know, learn about, you know, how, how they can, how you can train them to get along with the cat or other small pets safely. So we've been talking about that, the training when you bring them together, if you haven't already established uh, in your household that they're both cool. You know, so people thinking about, you know, they have a dog, they want a cat, they don't have a cat, they're afraid. I went through it. It was it was a little tough, you know, I had to separate them. I love them both, says Deborah, yes. Well, that's the thing. You end up loving them both because they're just different, but they're, they're the same. They're both your pets. So we'll talk about that more just as we go along about the... Uh, Tips we, we find out about training and how you do that and keep peace in the house and things like that. It's all good. So for now, uh, if you starting tomorrow, visit alldognetwork.com and catch up on our shows. Those of you that, uh, again, might have missed some of them uh, for whatever reason. Don't expect you to be here every second. And please, if you would, we're asking you to spread the word, share the word, share with your friends on Facebook. You can share the show. It doesn't matter. That'd be great. You know, people say, hey, check this stuff out. You might dig it. If you do, you do. You know, just something else, to, something different to to get involved with your mind with is your dog and your animals and other people's animals and your friends. And, and it's, it's uh, good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. We love it. So when you're thinking about adoption, again, shelters, rescues. And tonight we talked about the top 25 mixed breed popularity. We went through those. And, uh, some interesting stuff. So if any have any questions, shoot me a comment. And until tomorrow, Monday, a new week, y'all have a great new week. If y'all heading back to work or whatever you're doing, keep yourself safe, fresh water for your pooches, fresh food, keep the sleepies out of their eyes, give them lots of hugs, make sure they're all clean and neat, and they're not scratching and they're comfy. And uh, we love y'all for being here. On behalf of the Wolf 
Driver, our producer at the site you are on Facebook, Wolf Driver's page. Uh, this morning, I watched last night since I fell asleep. There you go. Thank you so much for doing that. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, they're all a little different. Uh, have a great night. I will have a great night, and we will keep tabs on all these things you guys are talking about. And until then, we'll, uh, you know, jump and jam right out of here. Good night, Mimi. Thank you again. And wherever you are, stay healthy, wealthy, and wise. Thank you, Deborah. I will have a good night. You as well. On behalf of everybody here and the production team of Wolf Driver, alldognetwork.com, good evening. We'll see you tomorrow, Monday. Take care. Woof.